The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. And now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. This is uh, Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you uh, being with us. Hope everyone had a great holiday, safe holiday, and we're going to kick off uh, 2012 and make it a great one. We are. Nothing Absolutely. like it, man. Um, market wise out here, we got this morning, you get the Dow up 31, NASDAQ up 7, S&Ps are up 3, you got gold down 4 bucks, platinum's up 13, you get silver, where is she? She's up uh, 5 pennies, light sweet crude's up uh, 74, bonds are up 6, you get uh, king dollar down 71, and uh, the euro is up 5. Yeah, 7 cents. Down seven, seven cents. Down seven cents. Seven cents, yeah. Thank God. Just, uh, yeah, exactly. Down 71. The, mar that, the market would be headed that, to the moon. That would be disaster, uh, wouldn't it? Well, it depends on which way you look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, man. Yeah. So let me just, uh, how was your Christmas? Good? Yeah, it was, it was good. You know, what I did was, uh, you know, look, uh, my <laughs> my body was sending the signals to me, rest, you better rest, because, uh, you know, I hadn't been sick in, in, in like, forever. You know, I know. Eight years, never had a cold, and, uh, you know, and this thing really beat me up, beat you up, too. It did, man. You know, it and did. anybody that we've run into, it's kind of amazing. I hope nobody gets this crud, whatever it is that we had, because it can really kick your butt. Oh, it's... It's crazy, man. So I, I rested. I got, I got, you know, some great sleep. Slept in, you know, because I'm usually waking up three, four in the morning, whatever it might be. Right. And so, you know, that, was, that wasn't the case at all. So uh, I'm looking forward actually to this coming weekend, so I can get the same type of rest. You know, just totally rest my body up and you can't ready rest to go too for much, 2012. Man. You can't rest too much. Oh, can't rest enough right <laughs> now. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, let's go overseas. Yeah, last night. So um, you know, he, he had he had Asia mix last night. Let's see, well, the 23rd. Yeah, so Asia. Well, well uh, oh, that's going to be. So the Hang Seng. I wonder how long the Hang Seng is closed for now. I, that's what we got to find out, I guess. Um, because the Hang Seng might be closed for a bit now. Let me see. Here. That was the 23rd. Uh, Shanghai, though. Shang Shanghai. She was, Shanghai she, was down. Down. she was down again. Yeah. No yeah, doubt Shanghai about it. Shanghai was down. You had the uh, DAX. Uh, the Nikkei was down. Uh, you know, FTSE closed for the day. And uh, the uh, DAX, is, uh, DAX is up 21 points right now. But not doing much. You know, you can't really expect much this coming week. No, you can't. There's, there's, uh, I mean, if, if, there was, if there was huge volume, if there was huge price one way or the other, it would be a big surprise. Well, we, what we can expect is that, you know, we, and we're getting closer and closer, the 1292 yeah, 12 wants like to get whacked. Yeah, it does. It's a beautiful thing, man. It does. So, okay, so tell me, let's see. Uh, Moon wise, uh, the, yeah, we had we had we had the uh, new moon come in on uh, Saturday. Okay, so you know we're uh, you know we're pretty much out. Uh, today would have to be the day where the market would make, in this case here, uh, you know a, a the high for that period. Okay, so you know you had that cycle come in. Uh, you've got a Bradley turn date. I think it's in a couple days on the twenty eighth. But the Bradley turn date is not a date specific. You know, so you can't necessarily be necessarily, in my opinion, as I've gone back and I've applied those turn dates on the charts. Yes. You know, it's got a much larger leeway, if you will, with regard to uh, making a market turn one way or another, up or down. Right. So, uh, you know, at this stage here, and what we like to do with those, at least what I like to do, I have found that the best way to be able to use, whether it's a planetary or a... Uh, lunar aspect right. is by really taking a look at the timing of price you right. know as the other pattern right. coming in at the same time right. because what has the what has the priority is always going to be price and volume right right you know and what you like to see is when it, you know it was look i did like seeing the market move up the way that it did with such light volume right. coming into friday right. because coming into a lunar cycle that's what you really want to see exactly. it's where it's where it's where you know typically you know you you pose that question to yourself you know can i really be selling this market or when the market's moving down should i really be buying the market so it'd be really cool if they could run it big time yeah let's yeah. go let's run this market here absolutely let's go. we want it. that's what right what the heck's going on here <laughs> I'll tell you, man, you know, it's, it's going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out because 
Uh, you know, folks, we're talking about anemic volume. Oh, you know, my so, goodness. Ch so check it out. Friday okay? was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, we, really? it, it, it's about as good as you get, meaning that's, uh, let's see. Yeah, let me pull this baby up. Okay, so you got 477 million, and they ran it. So right. we're going to run it today. It, you know, you, you'll see it contract again. <laughs> it's just going it, to, oh, I know. The Dow. Let's see. So the Dow. Yeah, the Dow is up and over that ten twenty. That's a beautiful thing. See, uh, see, see that? That's that's nice, man. And what, the reason that's nice, folks, is that you want divergence. Um, I want divergence anyway. Yeah. And, and what that divergence specifically is is that, you know, they'll be able to basically say, "Hey, the Dow's all clear, man. We're going to the moon." Sure. You know, and you know, bottom line is that as the S and P gets up there. Uh, the the good old Nasdaq, of course, is the problem child. Right, no question. And about uh, it. she's having a big problem. You know what's interesting here? So check this out, man. This is this is gonna. I, I'll tell you, folks. You want you want a shocker? You know, we get that big bear mask on. But uh, let me uh, let me show you something here. This is gonna get really interesting. And this is what it is. Let me find it again. Okay, so Sears Holdings, yeah. right? S H. So check this out, folks. Okay, now Sears is getting destroyed this morning. Okay. Now, oh, it sure it's, is. Wow. it's down, it's down $9.32. Now, watch this. There's some this. volume behind it. Oh, right? big, big volume. It, oh. See, this is not the buy right now, but watch this. I want to, this is what the market's doing in general, okay? So, Jeez. It, oh, it's a beautiful thing. Look at this. So, the low on Sears, folks, okay, was $26.82. This is not a weekly. That was a November of 2008. Yeah. Now, the high of that is 38, okay? Now, what we're doing is this. We're doing two different things. It had volume blow out of it last week, which is 2.6 million. Yeah. Volume's going to blow out of it this week. It is. But what sure. I expect you're going to see here is it'll blow out one more time and it will die on the vine. Yeah. And inside. And you think you're down in that 26? You'll get area, it down 26, in that 26 yeah. area. Yeah. And no one's going to want it. Yeah. And you're going to want to be all over it, folks. I mean, it, it, this has a lot longer to set up. But let me tell you something, man. It's going to be interesting because even I was just looking at this intraday. Yeah. Like today, it's like, man, you know, it, it can't hold price. And, you know, it, it has lower to go. But yeah. that's a number you want to keep your eye on. Now, no now when you're taking a look at, at, at Sears, yes. is part of, part of the thought process there more of a real estate play? With the price of the stock being down here, uh, you know what, what's going to happen. Not really. No. Uh, what, what, they, what happens is that they're they're closing 150 WalMarts and I mean not WalMarts, Kmart's and Sears. Okay. That's what they're doing. Okay. So they're going to take. But they still, but they own that property, which is so they important. They, they own that you know, property. Yeah. I'm just looking at it just from flat okay. out. You know, coming down the, and testing. The, the, uh, my 825 S&P wants to get tested. Yeah. This is coming down. There. This will give you a good heads up. Yeah. If in fact those those low levels can even hold, okay. Because if they if they don't it hold, takes out hold, the baby. Oh baby, watch, watch out, watch yeah. out. You know what I mean. So it's it's going to be uh, pretty wild watching this. Now, this morning I was on CNBC. Yes, yeah. Okay. yeah. So it gets interesting. See this? I was talking about gold and I was talking about platinum. platinum right. And I was talking about so yeah, look, look at the at differential that, right now. Yeah. So the differential is gold's down seven, platinum's up sixteen. Right. Now this is what's going on, folks. Okay, and this is pretty cool. South Africa is the largest producer of platinum in the world. Okay. But, but the difference, just so you can understand, of gold and platinum is, is pretty dramatic. Like, if we just look at the, uh, the ETF structures yes. of it. Yes, yes. Well, inside the ETF structures worldwide, this would be, you got uh, 78 million ounces that are owned by ETFs. Okay. In gold. Okay. You only get a million platinum. Oh, that's okay. pretty nice. So, so that's the, pretty the, nice. The, the markets are totally different. Yeah. The correlation is that what happened is that in Zimbabwe, now that's a Zimbabwe's the second largest producer of platinum. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And they did two different things. Number one, they're going to try to put through uh, a larger royalty tax. Okay. Yeah. Which is going to bring it from five percent to ten percent on platinum. The bigger part, though, is this. The bigger part, folks, and I, I suspect they're going to get this part through. The bigger part is that they don't want unrefined platinum to leave the country. Okay. So what they want is that they want the companies that are doing business there yeah. to make refineries, which okay. totally makes sense because okay. then it just puts more people to work. Right, right. Now, what that will do, though, is put a jamming on platinum. Okay. Okay, even... Just it, because, of, because, because you think that demand. the demand is going to... No, the demand... Supply, because the supply is going to slow down a bit. The supply will slow down. So they get the refineries out, up and going. Right, refineries okay. up and going. Yeah. Demand should have gone up 
And where I say should have gone up, we've sold more cars yeah. this year than we have in four years. Yes. Okay. The converters in cars, folks, is the biggest user of platinum. Yeah. Catalog. Okay. So the bottom line is that another four or five months, we'll see, you know, uh, three months, you'll see those numbers come up. But it's something to, to really keep your head wrapped around because yeah. um, that that correlation, meaning that platinum's at 1430 and gold's at 1590, yeah. is not going to be there forever. Now, it's been there for a year, though. I mean, it's been there for a long time. Right, right. You know? But if you're going to get in that metal market, if that, if you're hell bent that you got to get in this before the end of this correction, well, I would, I would basically be putting my money on platinum. Yeah. Now, would you, would you be waiting for platinum to come down and test the low on uh, from December 15th, or? Well, I, my, my take is that think... both of them are going to come down, but some people just don't want to wait. Yeah. You know what I mean, and yeah. so you know, if you're not going to wait, you prefer, you prefer for it to test at 1376 yeah, and I would. fail. I would. It's just a safer. I would. Yeah. And when you look at the GLD. The G the G L D bottom line is is saying um, that this little baby, uh, you know, the the G L D is in it looks to me like in big trouble, man. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. You know, you're at one fifty five. You're building cars. This thing wants to just get whacked one more time. Yeah, you know? and that makes sense. Now, oh, so check this out. So the other part of this. So, okay, so for all. The metal bulls out here. This is a big one now. This is huge. Yeah. Because this is really cool. This yeah. is cool for our metal exchange, too. Yeah. So check this out, folks. India has always been the largest user, when I say always, I'm going back a couple hundred years. Yeah. Um, of gold. Yeah. Okay. Be because of the jewelry. Jewelry. Aspect and jewelry is the biggest part of it. So, yeah. pi so picture. Every year right now, you're talking 4,000 metric tons yeah. are getting pushed out. Yeah. Uh, supply that's this time of the year, just the yeah, no, no, just in, in general. Okay, uh, every year four thousand metric tons. Got that, it. That's kind of been the average. Okay, okay. okay. out of the four thousand metric tons, twenty five hundred of that. Okay, is uh, no seventeen four four eight twelve sixteen. Yes, yeah, seventeen hundred of that is uh, recycled. Okay, okay, yeah, twenty seven seven hundred. Okay, is mined. Yeah. Now, what has happened, folks, is this: is that India was always the largest user of jewelry. India got whacked this year big time. Their, their jewelry demand is down 30%. The rupee got smashed. Okay. The dollar's up. Gold's up. Okay. This morning, China just went over them in a huge way. Okay. As, as the jewelry demand. Yeah. Actual buying. Yeah. Now, now yeah, watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. This is, and this is the kicker, folks. This is the thing you want to wrap your head around. That's pretty wild, it, it's, it, especially it, with their markets being off. Well, well, but, well, the, but the housing bubble is what is probably you got people. It. People so, feel that wealth, okay, so, so they're out there spending. And, but it totally makes sense. So yeah. watch this. Okay. What you have is this in China, folks. What you have, no doubt, you have the large cities. But what is going? And China is the. It's only been legal six years to buy it. Okay. I think it's five to six years the most. Yeah. What is happening though is that now it's filtering down into those little villages. Yeah. Okay. Now that. To me, is going. That's a whole different animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because before, if we go back two or three hundred years, Asia was always a huge buyer of gold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's because of all those structures, you know, basically they take people's money. Yeah. Now yeah, they're yeah. taking people's money in the United States. <laughs> you know, because they're all corrupt. MF Global. Look yeah. at it. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, no, yeah. seriously, Absolutely. they want. To, you know, so the demand is out there. Just wait for the next correction. X Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold silver producer in Argentina. X Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X Story gold mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of tfnn.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. Give the gift of silver. This holiday season, TFNN and Great Panther Silver want to give you the gift of silver. 
From now until December 30th, TFNN will hold a drawing once a day, five days a week, business days only, and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire. Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks, just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Is the fast-moving investment world challenging the way you think about managing risk and return? You don't have to go it alone. Direction's alternative strategy funds feature built-in tactical management to help you find clarity for the path ahead. Direction Funds. I'm with X. To learn more about Direction's alternative strategy funds, please visit TFNN.com and click on the Direction Funds banner or call 877-434-9363. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk, charges, and expenses of the Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus contains this and other information about Direction Funds. The prospectus should be read carefully before investing. To obtain a prospectus, go to directionfunds.com. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. The use of leverage by a mutual fund increases the risk to the fund. The more a fund invests in leverage instruments, the more leverage will magnify gains or losses on those investments. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. In 1929, Joe Kennedy had $4 million. By 1932, he grew it into $180 million. All this during the Great Depression. The good thing about economic difficult times is that the worst economy can produce the best rewards in the shortest period of time. In fact, during the last 130 years, 61% of that time period has been spent in recession. How would you like the strategies that Kennedy's and others use that are bulletproof against the turmoil of our economy in these fast-changing times? For the last quarter of a century, I've studied and used the secrets used by millionaires and billionaires. These are bulletproof strategies that will astonish you. I'd love to introduce you to these concepts because they will absolutely change your life. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien and host of The Trader's Edge, both seen daily at TFNN.com. If you're even a little bit interested in accumulating wealth, providing a better life for you and your family, then send me an email at steve at TFNN.com and I'll send you this free report, Pathways to Wealth. That's steve at TFNN.com, giving you Pathways to Wealth. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Gold Fields. For more information, just click the Gold Fields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you being with us. And all those new tablets you get out there for Christmas, folks, you can watch us on Tiger TV Absolutely. now. Absolutely. That's Growling right. And prowling. That's right. No doubt about it, man. You get the uh, Dow up 18, NASDAQ up uh, 5, S&Ps are up 250. Let's go to uh, Marty in Massachusetts. Hey, Marty, what's going on? It's Mark, Tom. How are you? It's Mark. I'm sorry, man. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Good, thanks. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, I spoke to you about a week and a half ago, right before I went to Mexico. to see my, That's my right. Niece and her, my niece, my nephew, uh, my nephew-in-law, and my, my grandniece, who is just cute as a button. Yeah. My question is, you guys recommended to me to go to cash, which is what I did. And I watched the market run on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I was listening to the archive shows, and uh, I said, geez, maybe I shouldn't have gone to cash. But, um, Tommy, you, you think it's going to hit this frame point of 1292? And I guess my question is, would you be playing URTY in reference to that and just hold it for a day or two? Would you? Or, no. You think there's no? No. You wait until... Uh, 1292 I want to sell. I'm, I'm not long the market right now. And well, I, I, as, I'm aware of that. I'm thinking maybe hold it for a day or two or three. Well, yeah, the, well there you go. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the problem is the, that, that's, the, uh, that's the Russell 2000, right? The uh, uh -huh. USTY? Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, what, what you have to realize, Mark, is that, first of all, when you take a look at the IWM, that October 27 swing point, the low of 74.49 with $129 million, you know, what, what happens here is the IWM continues to bump up against the bottom of that, and, uh -huh. and, it, and it can't even get inside there. You know, it's, it's okay. coming, you know, you took a look at, uh, at uh, Friday, it closed right at, uh, what, 74.55, so close six pennies above it, 
you know, uh, on uh, on 24 million. You're trading right below it right now. Um, I, I did, personally, I don't think that the reward risk. You know, if this okay. the, the small caps have been strong, and they can't handle that October 27 swing point. That's telling you something. Right. You know, one of the well, things I think is, one of the things I think is telling you is don't be long the uh, the small okay. caps. Okay, okay, that's fine. Would you guys just maybe go to cash for a day or two? Just let it. And Tom would just let it hit the, uh, that um, twelve. What is it? Twelve ninety two or twelve ninety three swing point, and then and then go short. Or would you go short now? Or no, no. That's the the, the key here right now is to have no trades and sit there and wait. That's yeah. right. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. And I know so, no one wants cash. to do that, but that's the name of the game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because what somehow, some way, this thing's going to get whacked, and it's going to get whacked good. It's, it's going to be different than you know. It, we think, you know, it, but it, when I say different than we think, meaning the bulls will think that, yeah, it's going to go to the moon. The bears will think that, oh, no, it is going to the moon. And my take is that I'm going to sell it, you know, if, as long as they get the rejection. See, I love the idea that the Dow is already over because what I want to see is the S&P just starting to make it. The, the small caps will probably fail, just as Steve says. They probably won't be able to do anything. And the NASDAQ will basically give the signal like, you know what, I can't even get close to it. And if you can't get close to it, well, bang. You know, think, think of it like this, you know, because there, there certainly is some big money out there at work that's having to come in. And right now you've got the, so you've got the Dow up over it. So right. you've got defensive, in essence, potentially defensive plays with regard to positioning of money underway because the small caps can't even get into that October 27th swing point. Right. If there was some real juice in the market, the small caps should be, should be up in there, should be, right. you know, should be right behind it. And they they just so, it just simply can't get up there. To me that's so to me that's a new piece of information. What's that? So staying cash basically. Cash for is day. king. King Go dollar. Long that's right. King dollar. <laughs> that's right. Staying cash. Okay. And last question for Steve. How how in reference to what you just mentioned to me, uh, does the lunar cycle play into this for the next day or two or three? Well, the you know what we had come in on Saturday was a new moon, and with the market moving up, that means that in essence today should be the high in the marketplace but you know it's it's outside of the you know we're talking tuesday here and uh you know with the market having moved up into friday friday really should have been the should have been the uh uh the high you know but but because because of it being so light you know the problem is that this week and last week with there really being no volume in the marketplace you are just simply safer being patient, which nobody really, okay. as Tom would say, nobody yeah. really wants to hear. Because okay, we're, we're that's all fine. itching to, to put a trade on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. But sometimes you just simply have to be patient and be grateful for what it is that you've had during the last yeah. you know, year. And uh, because okay, guys. we have plenty of work to do come uh, January 3rd, 4th. Well, right. I wish you guys a, a Merry New Year, Happy New Year. And please, if you're going to drink, please do not drive. That's right. Oh, we don't. But no, we, we don't. drink. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ca cabbies I, I, are us. That's right. Cabbies yeah, right. are us. Well, take you know, care, you know, guys. Bye. Take care, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. It was great. Is that? Um, you get a picture, folks. In Florida, we, we it was eighty-five degrees. It was eighty-three degrees. <laughs> which, which was amazing. And, and so, needless to say, I, you know, I, we had a bunch of people over for dinner. Yeah. And then I'm running around. I have no shoes on, right? And I'm yeah. visiting all my friends in a cab. It was hilarious. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We'll come right back with Jim from Minneapolis. We have the Dow up 27, Nasdaq up 6, S&P's up 3. We're going to be right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on lighter volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now.
Did you know that the price of gold is up over 24% this year, while the GDX, the Market Vectors Gold Miners ETF, is actually down 1.4% this year? Not all gold stocks are created equal, and not all gold stocks move with the price of gold. In October, Tom O'Brien recommended a buy of FCX in his gold report, and only six trading days later advised his clients to close the position, profiting almost 22% in this one trade. During the same six trading days, the price of gold was barely up 5%. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, gives investors the inside edge they need to profit in this gold market. Each Monday morning, Tom issues a gold market update at around 9.30 a.m., then issues a full report each Tuesday afternoon. For as low as $75 per month, you can gain access to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. To order your Gold Report with a free 30-day trial subscription, log on to TFNN.com today or call 877-518-9190. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. In 1929, Joe Kennedy had $4 million. By 1932, he grew it into $180 million. All this during the Great Depression. The good thing about economic difficult times is that the worst economy can produce the best rewards in the shortest period of time. In fact, during the last 130 years, 61% of that time period has been spent in recession. How would you like the strategies that Kennedy's and others use that are bulletproof against the turmoil of our economy in these fast-changing times? For the last quarter of a century, I've studied and used the secrets used by millionaires and billionaires. These are bulletproof strategies that will astonish you. I'd love to introduce you to these concepts because they will absolutely change your life. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien and host of The Trader's Edge, both seen daily at TFNN.com. If you're even a little bit interested in accumulating wealth, providing a better life for you and your family, then send me an email at steve at TFNN.com and I'll send you this free report, Pathways to Wealth. That's steve at TFNN.com, giving you pathways to wealth. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have uh, right now the Dow is up 24, NASDAQ up 6, S&Ps are up 3. Uh, bottom line, you get a flat market out here. Let's go uh, see what's happening in Minneapolis. We get Jim from Minneapolis. What's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How are you guys doing? We're good. doing great. You have a good Christmas? Oh, yeah, unbelievable. It's uh, There's no snow here. It was 52 degrees yesterday. It had set a record up here. Oh, wow. that's crazy. Wow. 52 in Minneapolis. You mean you don't have the, the blankets out with the batteries on the cars and the whole bit, right? <laughs> Yeah, you know, there is some ice on the on the on the water and the lakes, but you get you know very thin people. You know, there's been a few people that have, you know, trying to go ice fishing and you know not real smart. But, yeah. Uh, oh man, that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, it's just insane. And, you know, sunny, 52. Everybody is just going nuts. You know, up here it's unbelievable. Totally. So uh, we want to take a look at Zag, right? Yeah, the Steve, uh, the old Zag. I'm wondering if it's uh, time to go do a little Christmas shopping, or is it one to leave alone here? Leave that alone. This is interesting, man. Yeah, uh, you know, was, I mean, yeah. okay, so low six, the high 17. They keep raising guidance. You know, it's just a bit, you know, it's like where the fundamentals look one way in the stock. They just keep looking at it going, what is wrong with this thing? You know, I, I love that high volume high out there from August the 15th. You know, no question, but right now, uh, I don't even know. Did it complete an ABC down? Let's see here. Yeah, it hasn't hit the seven bucks yet. Seven ninety one. Yeah. Actually, hold it. So yeah. this is interesting. Okay, so yeah, this is going to go to the very end of it. I I see what they're looking at. I mean, you know, the reality is is that you're at eight oh four, right? So I mean, it really is five eleven, even though that's sick. 
I know. Well, you know, I know. But yeah, what, what you're going to have there, I if you know. get into 511, Jim, you're going to have some action. Yeah. You know, because what you do have here is that now the, is this the the whole yeah. deal that makes all the. For, for the extra accessories or what have you for the. Yeah, the protectors, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. there's still 9 million shares short in the deal, too, it looks like. Yeah, there is. It's 9 million shares out of 21 million, which, you know, bottom line is if you look at those numbers that came out this morning, um, you know, specifically is that these smartphones are going through the roof. I mean, Samsung has overtaken, they, they haven't taken, overtaken Nokia yet, but they overtook Apple, you know. So, I mean, I, I, my understanding is that, so, with this company, all those phones, I mean, they use them. I mean, because it doesn't yeah. matter which yeah. one you I have, think, right? I think, you know, look, I, th I think it's a good company. Seems like it's pretty well run. Uh, you know, they're making the money. Uh, what, I, what I would be waiting for here, Jim, is either either for this pattern to complete or seeing some other sign of strength come into it. You When's know? the patent complete? Well, you've got really two of them that are really out here. I mean, first, just 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 testing the swing point. Yeah. Uh, you know, which which could be at the uh, uh, what is this uh, right down here at the uh, six sixty eight. Okay. That's the daily though. You know, the weekly shows a little bit lower test to there. Uh, but there you've got uh, you know some there you got seven point four million shares gap and you're, down there. you're trading inside there. Yeah, and you've right. got the gap right down there, which is really what you were taking a look at, which is the five five eleven. Yeah. You know, so you you, you got to let it you know complete its test down here in these uh, swing point areas where it's in these, especially with the volume that you had uh, a couple of uh, trading sessions ago. Uh, you know, you're still you're trading inside that from December first. But the only possible way that I would change my mind is if I saw some type of sign of strength come in, watch it pull back, and then go ahead and take off. Yeah, this is kind of the week. You know, this this week is usually where you you know tax loss selling and stuff on low volume and. and uh, you know, sometimes it's like group proficient, Tom. But no, that's a good point, man. No, I know what you're saying. No, I listen. I remember I had this guy. Oh, um, Joe. His first name was Joe. I forget his last name. Man, he did a study. This I'm going back to 1993 or 1994. Yeah. And there's no doubt, uh, man. I'm I'm so glad you just brought that up. We got to figure this out in the next. That right before the end of the year, right? Right. What ends up happening is that there's no doubt. What Jim just said. It gets flushed, right? And and some of those that get flushed, man, that's a few of those are going to go up big time, and because that's all it is. That's all it is, is man, they want to get out, you know, and that's for sure. The, well, that's you know, the, the, the sell is for tax loss, right? Yeah, and the operator and you guys are trying to accumulate it aren't going to bid it up. They're just, no, you know. no, they sit there saying, "Thank you, God, here we go." Yeah, uh, I, but that, yeah, that you, five fifteen, five ninety area would be really sweet. Would be really sweet. Yeah. Joe Scalia, I get the name. How about that? Joe Scalia, that was the guy's it. name. Listen, guys, well, you guys have an awesome uh, New Year's and Tom, I'll see you in March. Absolutely, man. Look forward to seeing right. you, man. See you, brother. Okay. Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien. Get some silver this holiday season. TFNN and Great Panther Silver want to give you the gift of silver. From now until December 30th, TFNN will hold a drawing once a day, five days a week, business days only, and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire. Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks, just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of this opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. 
At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. But you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN. Com. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We get the uh, Dow 14, NASDAQ of 5, S&P's up 2. Uh, gold is down 8. You got platinum up 12. Silver is uh, down 3 pennies. You got uh, uh, oil. Oil's up 94 cents. Yeah. This, this oil thing is going to get interesting because it's like, okay... Well, yeah. it's higher price still. It, it, look at, you know, it's, it's, it, it's getting it's, close. It's, huh? it's, oh, look at that, that first, that first gecko. That has the, that has the juice, but we already tested 165. So it went to 168. Yeah. It still wants to get up in that $103 area, it seems like. Oh, listen, Come man, I, I, I was, you know, yeah, we'll see where that goes. It looks to be, in one way, I expect that oil will actually fail today. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then that and higher is game. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Right right in that one oh three area is some pretty strong resistance. But you know, you know right well this there. is what cracks me up though. See, when you look at the oil market, what, what what's running out there again today, folks, is that Iran with uh the the Strait of Humus and all that. Oh, they threw that out there? Again? Yeah, and it's all BS. Really? That, yeah, that's even close. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, so when I look at that, I say to myself, you know what? How many times are you going to throw that out there? Yeah. Okay? That ain't going to happen. Yeah. You know? Well, if they threw that out there, it's actually had a pretty small move, considering that. Yeah. So it's, that's been well, pretty subdued. And it, 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 well, it took them 40, it, 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 they got 40 cents, but that took about 30, 40 minutes for that to happen. Yeah. But that's out there. Yeah. That's out there again. It's like, okay. So, you know, I mean, I, I think this is, it's either a fifth of the oil go, that goes through. It's a, it's a big number that goes through there, but... Yeah, you know these these countries have enough problems with their own citizens. Never mind with us. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> you know, the, the, seriously, the amazing part is like they they they're, we're the least of their problems right now. Their own citizens are the, the uh, well, the, the, this, this, it's not a problem, but but it's going to turn into a problem because the, they finally want freedom. You know, and they probably got iPhones. They got and I, Android. They, they get They're I, watching TFNN. That's right. They can. No doubt, man. And, you know, they can do their Twitter and they can do the rest of it. And, you know, good old Putin. Putin and the boys are going to have some real problems. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there was quite a few folks out there in the oh, yeah. sub-zero uh, weather. Uh, you know, hundred. I don't, I don't know what. The, you know, yeah, it's no, not it's reported on that much. Right. You know, I do every now and then see an international right. clip or something right. somewhere. Right. About 100,000 people out there in that sub-zero weather. Whew. Yeah. And that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big number. That's, well, that's, let's put it this way. It's a big number when you know you can get thrown in the can. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, that's a little bit different. Just lock you up and throw the key away, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Now, this is interesting here. You've got Apple is testing the, uh, the, the high of the gap down from October 19th. Gap oh. down with 39 million shares. Oh, I like that. And uh, you've gotten up, up, up on top of that. Uh, you've gotten to a high today so far of 403.09. And, uh, you know, you've got 3.7 million shares. So 
it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see where this closes. And what it's doing, it's, it's the ship is coming in towards that island reversal top that exactly. it has out there. Exactly. Uh, so this will give us a signal today. No, no, it will. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, And what is amazing is that Apple has clawed its way back up here and just how weak the NDX is, folks. So, yes. I mean, you want to talk about giving you a, a, a real signal uh, with a bullhorn. Yes. You know, Apple is up almost near its highs again. The highs in Apple were up at the 426 uh, area, 426.70. Right. Uh, from October the 17th, you're trading out at 406, 407 <coughs> area right now. So it's pretty darn near close. And, it's got, you know, it's, the boat is just, they're just, it's, it's coming in towards this island, but they're just teasing it. Well, listen to this. <laughs> this is amazing. So uh, Christmas Eve, I'm in the Apple store, you know. Oh, you were? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Totally, I love totally. it. Well, it was nice with it being Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, it was dynamite. So it was, I, was yeah. there, I was there like at 8 o'clock in the that, morning. Yeah. It, it, was, it was fine. Um, I got Angie a new computer. Okay. And it, you know, it, but bottom line, so I'm talking to the guy, and was, this is this is what, what a conversation, what a great conversation. Yeah. So he says, well, what do you, you know, what do you think about the stock? I said, well, I think the stock's topped out. He says, oh no. He says, that stock's going to be the first quarter again at five thirty-five. I said, so the first quarter going to be five thirty-five. I said, okay. Now, uh, on the way home, I'm thinking about this the whole time. This is this is pretty amazing, and. What I mean specifically, folks, is that just like a nonchalant deal that, no, you know, we're going to go up another 25%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's right, going to be right, the first right, quarter, right, and it's right. going to have to do with, you know, I guess Christmas sales, you know. But, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll take the other side of that bet and go down to 350. Yeah, look, the, you know? if, if, if it were the case, the chart would be telling us something else. Yeah, no, no, what, no, you know, it absolutely would. Then, then what's it going, you know, it absolutely would. You know, the, yeah. the, the news follows the chart. Well, I think I think where they're going to you know with it, I think they're going to get hit beyond belief. They're going to get hit in the iPad deal because of the Kindle Fire. Yeah, you're gonna you know, do you want to spend six hundred dollars? You want to go spend a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars, yeah. and you're really you know getting the same thing. Right. You know, not exactly the same, but that that no, is you a have difference. Them, you have them both. We don't have necessarily the Kindle I, Fire. You've got no, the I, older. I, I have the, re the the first Kindle yeah. that's out there. Yeah. I get the iPad, and I mean I'm, I'm hooked. Don't get me wrong. Are, okay. I mean, oh yeah, they. You know, I'm hooked on these iPads. So, so no you, doubt read, about you read the article. You, you can browse some. No, more, I don't. Oh. I don't use it for that. Okay. Um, what I've used it for is I'm using it for real estate more than anything. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's so quick. But I just for like for research. I, yeah. You're doing it for exactly. Okay. Um, you know, I still use the Kindle for reading. Okay. I, I'm Good. sure I can do it on the iPad. I just haven't done it. Yeah. You know, but when I see what. They're really, you know, I watch Angie. Angie has one. She shops on it all the time. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. her shopping device, right? So, so does she shop at Amazon or? Ah, she shops no? everywhere. Okay. I mean, forget it. She should get a golden star. She's got a golden star on a lot of those different uh, sites. Oh, she's, okay. No, she's, no, she's helping the economy. No, no, she definitely helps the economy. <laughs> uh, but when I, when I look at I mean, that's what Kindle's all about. That's a, definitely a shopping device. Yeah. You know, yeah. and of course you go to Amazon. And Amazon is, well, we got our three grandchildren here. Yes. So they come for Christmas, folks, and it's awesome because uh, Sabrina does shop on Amazon. Okay. So everything came from Amazon. So we're, oh. ma we're making all these toys, all these wooden toys. Okay, okay. And it was a deal now. It all arrived at your house? Yeah. yeah oh, that's yeah. so, so cool. That's so they were there, they're great. still here. They're here, here for the whole week, which is great. Um, so uh, Christmas Eve, of course, we're putting all these together. And it was dynamite. Yeah, yeah. But I, I learned there also that, bottom line, Amazon had a much better price than Everywhere, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, Adriana had seen these in a magazine she wanted. Yeah, Sabrina went on Amazon. Bottom line, Amazon beat them. Yeah, for the same toy, yeah. exact same toy. So, and that was, I mean, you know, so it's it's you know they're they're definitely doing the number. Yeah, you know. Well, and and you know, I, I suppose that part of that is uh, you know Sears is uh, you know is, oh, is, yeah. is is also one of the first you know casualties, I guess. You yeah. Know, you take a look at how that stock is trading right now. Uh, from a brick and mortar retail environment, you know, versus versus a Where, warehouse digital absolutely drop ship. Uh, well, Lam Lambert made a mistake years ago, just in that whole deal, and he's been trying to correct it since. Yeah, I mean, he's been in that deal now for what eight years, you know, and but big mistake, you know. Eventually, it will. You know, he, he needs a big box. Who's a big box dealer that's going to take him out? Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. It's not Best Buy. They're going to be right. closing places, too. Absolutely. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. So we're coming right back. 
as Tom says, go long America. Now you can join TFNN and Barnes & Noble to keep money in your community. Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, before December 31st from your local Barnes & Noble store. And you will be given access to not just one, but two exceptional archived courses. Tiger Scaling, The Tiger Butterfly, and Gartley. The Art of Timing the Trade is more than just a book. It's an educational journey that will help you understand the Wall Street greed cycle and learn how to recognize profit from genuine price moves. So, for the cost of just under $30, you will receive an excess of $300 in trading education from Tom O'Brien, TFNN, and Barnes & Noble. And you will be helping to support an important local business, your local bookstore. If you do not have a Barnes & Noble in your community, then go to your local bookstore. We'll be sure to work with them to keep your purchase local. So let's support our local businesses. Keep money in your community and get a great education. But be sure to act now because you have until December 31st to take advantage of this opportunity. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Hi, folks. Steve Rhodes here. Tom O'Brien and I need your help. Together, let's change the cash for gold industry once and for all. Now is the time to unleash the game changer, and that's you, folks. We've all seen the power of viral marketing. It's overthrown dictators, and now it's time to rid the thieves in this cash for gold industry. Together, we can change this industry in a heartbeat. You know about our industry-leading payouts, our free tools, our video valuation, and the education that we provide to help folks value their jewelry. Tom and I are experts and the industry's most trusted team. Please join us now by spreading the word to your entire email list we'll pay you five percent of the total payout which on average would be fifty dollars per transaction a hundred transactions is five grand in your pocket we'd rather put our marketing dollars in your pocket and more money in your referrals pocket go to tigermetalexchange.com and click on the become a partner button to join our team let's start a revolution folks we can't do it without you tigermetalexchange.com the only click you need to make would you like to discover the next great tech stock David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With The Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. Go Long America! Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system. Before December 31st, you will receive an excess of $300 in trading education. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we get the Dow down uh, five. Nasdaq is flat. S and P's are flat. We got uh, gold down eight seventy. And uh, now we got a new show starting uh, today. We do this show coming right? up as uh, Kate Stalter, folks. We're going to do the, the small cap roundup. Yeah, you that's stay, cool. You stay right with us, absolutely. That's cool. And uh, you know, bottom line is that uh, you know there's, there's a lot of what gets really intriguing with small caps is that that's where. When, when people always wondered, you know, why the small caps could overtake. Small caps are the only ones, you know, that overtook the 2000. That's right. When we went down. And that was because right. we were in such a commodity market. Yeah. Which is amazing. I mean, and I, my take is that we're still in a commodity market. Yeah. You know, uh, so, you know, we'll see where this whole uh, baby uh, does shake and bake. But today, this is going to get interesting because right now they want to take this thing south. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, it's it's one of those weeks where that's right. You know, not a lot of not a lot of folks in the office. No, that's you right. Know, vacations, whale, family, whale it up, whale it down, shopping. Yeah, that's you right. Know, whatever, whatever they can possibly there's, there's, do. There's no doubt about it. You yeah. know, just push it around, push it around big time. Yeah. Now, if we take a look, let, let's just see if we put the spy up just for a second. Still up over. It should still be up over the uh, swing. Yeah. Point, I think isn't it? That's that's pretty right now though. Actually, it's interesting. So 126.82 you hit. Wish we hit that 127. Okay. It's patience, folks, is the name of the no, game it here. Is, yeah, it so is. tell me about your report. Oh, you get a, you get a report yeah, that yeah. folks can get, right? Yeah, I do. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a free report, folks. It's called Pathways to Wealth. Okay. And, and what I've done is, uh, you know, I, I've, I, look, for the last 25 years, I've been taking a look at what drives people. Right. Because I've always wanted to understand right. what drives me. No, no, totally. And, uh, and also, you know, I've been, I've been fortunate enough to have been successful in entrepreneurial roles. Right. You know, ever, ever right. from the get-go. Right. And there, there's, there's little secrets. 
that each of us, you know, that, that successful people use. I mean, right. what I did, I always found that the easiest way for me was to go out and find what successful people did and right. emulate that. It was right. so much easier than trial and error. Right. That's how I, yeah. That's how I found you yeah. and, and, and Larry. So the same thing from a trading standpoint, I use it in business. Right. And I, and I share that with folks there. So it's really a great uh, beginning blueprint. That whether you're, it doesn't matter whether you're in the markets or not. Right. You know, if you're, if you run some type of business, okay, if you run some type of business, you know, I share with you really the the three areas of focus, the the three secrets to being able to double your business if you want. Right. You know, whatever it is that you're doing. And you can use those same, you can use those same uh, principles when you're trading the market. So I provide, you know, that information as well. Yes. And, you know, and we're talking about, you know, folks like uh, 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 Michael Jordan, uh, uh, Tiger Woods, Greg Norman. Agassi, uh, Michael Dell, um, yeah, focus, Sir John Templeton. Right. You know, we're talking about a, a group of people that use these same techniques, these same principles. So all folks have to do is just send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. The way I take a look at it, there's probably, you know, 3 to $5 million worth of research that is contained inside there. Because I know, because I know about the folks that have, right. you know, as I've, as I've read up on folks. And, you know, and I use the, I use the uh, uh, you know, the, in the ad that we run, here, take a look at, at Joe Kennedy I know. and what he amassed. Now, th- this is not for me to to speculate on how he did or he didn't. It you doesn't know, matter. Make, that's no, no. that's really not the right. issue. Right. Okay. There, right. And I know what's what's actually been cool about using that. Right. Is especially because we're we have so much uh, business in the Northeast. Right. There are people that are really uh, emotionally tied to. Right. You know the, the the Kennedys, bad sure. and good, if you will. Oh yeah. You know, so it's it's. I can, it's show, I can, I can show you plenty of rum running uh, right down the case. Ex- exactly. You know, a nice garages, pull them right up, baby. That's Come right. right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but the point there really was a mere fact that look during during what were difficult economic times. Absolutely. Okay. He and others, you know, were able to absolutely overcome that. And what what happens is. You know, in, in my opening segment, I was talking about the importance of really focus. Look, you talk about it. You right. know, what you focus on right. grows. You know, you focus on your fear. You know, you're going to be heading towards that. You know, you don't want to focus well, on know, that, man. Consciously right. and unconsciously, right? right? That's right. That's you know? right. That's and right. And so, so I use that because a lot of people will use different uh, uh, reasons or excuses to not actually take action today. Right. And it's all about being able to take action today. You don't have to wait for the market to turn in any one direction. No. That's just so cool about the market. Yeah. I mean, really. Well, you know it's, I mean? we're trading where we were a year ago. Right. And the question is, where are you in your own portfolio? Yeah. You know, and if you're comfortable with that, then you should continue doing what you're doing. But if you're not, you should order my report. If you're not, you should be able to take us. some action because, you know, we're making money. Right. And, you know, we're taking advantage of this marketplace. And we're missing some of the moves, and we're still making money. That you got to love that. No, no, it's, it's, it's a big deal. I don't like missing number. a move, nor does anybody else out there. I, you know, I get that. But there's another move always coming. You know, that's what being patient is all about. Yeah, and, and you know what? When you're banging out at 12,200 and the S&Ps are 1259, there's plenty of movement that we're going to have in 2012. Oh, plenty. yes, absolutely. You know? And what has happened, if, if you've known anything in the marketplace, so, uh, the spreads have got smaller. So your oh, reward goes so up cool. dramatically yeah. versus what your risk is. That's right. You know, you're not putting positions on. In the 90s, we put positions on would be down $250 immediately. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Out of the Forget game. it. That's right. That isn't happening anymore. Yeah. Now, now you're down about, you know, eight bucks. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We're going out to Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's a beautiful thing. Kate Stalton's coming up. Then we're going to Chicago with Don Kaufman, California with Ken Shreve, and back here with uh, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. We're going to be right back.